Hey everyone, how are you doing today? We're going to be showing a great way to do a clean install. Sometimes a graphics card will take a dive towards the worst and the best way is to reset the playing field. And that is the best way to know if the graphics cards maybe need a new thermal paste because it's like hitting new barriers and it's, there's a gremlin inside of it and you're just trying to figure out do I just need to dismantle it? Well, giving it one quick clean install and there's a difference between clean install because there's custom install versus express install and all these other confusing installs well where does it begin well it begins here i've got two waves of it pulled over and let's go ahead and take a look at both of those one currently just download whichever one you want directly in there and you can download the os and you can install it but for the point of this video i'm going to show you both ways exactly how to install it and upgrade it doing the exact install with a clean install with a newer update so you're going to see two things happen and they're going to be rad first and foremost let me just point out that you can almost download any nvidia driver like literally like by just typing in and their driver and it just takes you to their site and voila, there it is. Let's download it. Sometimes their site might take a little bit longer with NVIDIA stretching out their workforce of a network. It can be a little laggy on their website nowadays. It used to be almost crystal clear all the darn time, but now it's like kind of like, well, you gotta wait a second. Because my internet's fine. It downloads really fast. As you can see, the new studio driver that needs to be downloaded, but we're going to do our GRG install. Let's go ahead and do the game ready driver real quick and reflash this. Always a fun start to run it as administrator, just to play it safe, because Windows can be crazy, like all the times. <laughs> but go ahead and start the process, and we're going to go ahead and get you some fun menus. You'll be greeted with a nice install like this. Go ahead and say OK. It's going to do its nice little count, and basically run up the clock at the very top. So yeah, you'll get down to this point in time where you need to say OK. Yeah, I agree to your whatevs. And then you're greeted with this. Two options. This is the important part right here. So Express is something that is going to build on top of itself and it's not really going to wipe everything out and do a clean profile. With Custom, which is your clean install, your factory reinstall of that driver is going to be the situation that is compliant with install and providing the options of a clean install. So this might flash during the consumptionable point of the install. That's what you want. You don't want to go for Express. So go ahead and express yourself to the custom option. Now, if you have no issues at all and you're just updating your driver and you're like, hey, I just want to download it and do this myself or I'm going to show the new way to right after this um, exactly to do it from your GeForce experience, which is going to be pretty cool. Uh, but you can just go ahead and do an express. But personally, myself, every so often, I like to do the custom because it just gives it a nice little refresh point. Everything you think that's buggy is gone. Now you're going to be greeted with a whole bunch of stuff where it says, hey, look, I want to do all this stuff. It just perform a clean install. I know it's ridiculous. It's redundant. And you're just like, can you just do it? Please just do it. You know, you're going to do that. So let it do its thing and we'll be greeted with a nice few different screens. It might flicker in and out like this. So don't be worrying if your screen's like, oh, no, it's cool. It's totally cool. OBS is just like, hi. So you have no signal. I know. Some time will pass and you'll end up here at this very point where you're greeted that everything has been installed or a newer version has been installed over it. Like when I did that, where it says, oh, hey, by the way, there was a newer version of my GeForce experience. And I update that all the time. I just recently updated that. So that shows me that something was fixed by me just doing a clean install. So it's always good to do that from time to time. And then a physics software again. All these are great situations if you're out of sync with something. Physics nowadays isn't, isn't a big hubbub, but if you're doing a lot of creation, then it is. It just depends on the application. So congratulations, you've done step one, which is install the brand new driver or what is the old driver. But how do we do a clean install from the GeForce experience? Very easily. At this point in time, all you're gonna wanna do is you can right click or you can go down to the bottom. Either way, if you're wanting to do in your option inside the spec expansion, you can expect it to you can do so. First thing myself, I go down here and I select it. And then you can see right here where you have Studio Driver. Now go ahead and select, we're gonna want our game ready driver, right? And look, there's an Express and there's also a custom install. Well, what do we wanna do? We wanna also again show a clean install of the same thing because maybe there's something brand new on that point in time it doesn't like actually collect. But it's gonna do the same thing and we're gonna be greeted by lesser option menus and a little bit more of a cleaner UI, which personally myself, a 
gives me the reassurance now the geforce experience you will experience some like errors sometimes from like not a lot i had it one time where i didn't want to install and i just had to reopen it again and it did fine uh, but you can get into a lot of stuff where it just basically well and well not but as you can see it's a very painless very fast processor and like you have to look at it the situation that they're streaming their software with their like you know their little central unit in order to do this pretty fast nvidia is a pretty clean company for as far as it yeah we're doing clean installs so at the very tail end let's go ahead and pop in and you see what i mean by a little bit of a cleaner ui now we're greeted with a little bit more of like the neon looking green stuff and again we want to make sure we're doing our clean install 100 percent. let's go ahead and fast forward voila and like that we're done one of the cool things i like about with nvidia is that you do not have to reset it personally myself i always like to reset it just to make sure that it's pretty good and sell it but that is going to be pretty much what cleans up everything for clean installs and you'll have a lot of other bugs so if you're experiencing something you re and clean install reset it and then that will be the ultimate once you basically reboot it it should be at its ultimate um so at that portion in time guys and gals if you have any other questions drop a comment down below also i would definitely suggest going to your um task management and making sure that you take care if you're swapping gpus if you went from amd to nvidia usually it isn't too bad amd really doesn't really trip out too much like going into that kind of cosplay it used to back in the day uh, but sometimes it is always nice to delete those drivers that are in there that aren't the same team like but unless, unless you're running both or you're swapping But it's really up to you and your personal preferences I've had them both installed But if you notice bugs sometimes some programs will be afflicted by that like I had a 3d mark issue one time Where uh, it was a completely other software. I was like wait what I'm not even using that what the hell But it was just weird, but okay everyone. I am gonna go ahead and say Thanks so much for enjoying this clean install of how to install any GPU driver for a clean install. I will take you guys for another journey in the tech lane of ventures next time as you join me if you subscribe today and you are brand new. Cheers! I appreciate you guys and gals and I'll see you guys and gals in the near future for more tech related information. And if you subscribe today, who knows? Maybe, just maybe, Shenron will grant me a wish. That'd be cool. And then I would wish for everyone to have a brand new rtx card like not even like the stuff they released like that you know 3090 ti wouldn't that be cool you wake up and just like boom there's a new gpu in my g like pcie slot and you're like whoa he made the wish <laughs> you'll know at that point all right everyone you have a nice one and i'll see you guys and gals later